Okay, we are going to do a rundown on dumping your black and gray tank. Get your connections there. Got a standard dump scenario at an RV spot or at a dump station somewhere. You have your black tank valve. This is your cap you're going to take off and hook your hose to. And that is your gray tank uh, first valve. The second valve is over here on the passenger side up underneath and there's your other valve. Both of those valves will have to be open to uh, dump the tank, the gray tank. So we're going to get started. Everything is in this black bin right here. So you're going to open this black bin. It will come with some gloves. Got your gloves right here. Throw those on real quick. Inside this bin, you have your water hose, your power hose, or power cable, I should say, 30 amp with an adapter. That's in another video. You got your little slinky station. If you are setting up at an RV park or at a campground somewhere, Get your little hose slinky station so you can go ahead and set that out. We'll set that out and show you here in one second. We'll show you that slinky in one second. But you do have your sewer hose. It is right inside here. It's already got a clear view adapter. It does have this uh, on here, you can take that off, screw it on to some fittings like the one I have here, and then that just twist, twist locks onto there. You'll want to view and make sure everything's coming out of that sight window when you're doing this. So, let me go ahead and I'm going to get this set up. I'm going to put that down in there. We're gonna stretch this out. We're gonna pull this cap here. And they're good so it don't fall off. Just gonna twist that onto there. Put this guy up in the slinky. Little slinky winder. And then you might have a cap or not on your site you're at. There's all different sort of scenarios. Um, I could screw mine in, but we're just dumping it. That swivels into place. I'm going to set a little brick to hold that down in there. First thing you do is dump your black tank. We've had this soaking in, uh, soaking in hot water for overnight to help make this a nice fresh scenario for the next user and it didn't work too well right there so let me get that stretched out and you'll want to make sure you can see I've got a full tank of I have some chemicals in there just soaking in the tank overnight to help keep the tanks fresh and make sure they're really good and flushed out So you can see that is going nice and clear. So I usually let the black tank get completely empty. You'll let that get completely empty. Or at least really close to it. And then you're going to come over here and pull the first valve of your gray tank. And come to the other side. And pull the other valve of your gray tank. And that one I had already dumped, but that's how you, you pull that after. And usually your gray tank water will flush your system really good and flush this hose out with gray water, which is a lot cleaner than your black water. And once you let those go, um, you don't have to all the time, but there is a tank flush over here. It says tank flush. That is for your black tank. You can hook a hose up to this and use that and do your 
black tank flush. I'm gonna go ahead and hook the hose up and do that before I put this away. But uh, same reverse action, just go close your gray valves now after everything's drained out. And then you're gonna close your black tank valve. Then you're gonna unhook that end of your hose and find your water source. Um, usually there's a hose at dump sites. There's another, you wanna, you wanna rinse that hose out even though you kind of rinsed it out with the gray. You'll want to just give that a good rinse. If you have a moment, maybe let it hang over something and dry, dry out before you put it back away. Um, you can, and I wanna make one comment here. If you are hooked up to, at a campground or an RV site or somewhere you're staying for multiple days or overnight or multiple days, and you hook this hose up, you do not want to keep your valves open. These systems don't like just draining and you don't want them open. You're gonna get all the back smell air running from all your sewer tanks up through your hose and into your, your system there. These work best if you leave the valves closed and let your tanks fill up. You want them to fill up. It keeps them rinsing the sides of the tanks and and the chemical pod that you put in there will work in your black tank as you fill your black tank up. You want that to fill up before you redump it. You don't ever want to sit with this hose hooked up and those valves open for you know while you're using the RV. That's not how these systems work. Uh, you might as well just put the hose away or you know maybe if you want to leave it out for a couple days great but close the valves fill the tanks up when keep monitoring them when they're getting full do the same dump scenario i just showed you but you never want to sit here uh with your valves open for over a period of time and just because the toilet paper and everything will just land on the dry tank inside there and it'll just get clogged up you want it to fill up with water and you want that stuff to get flushed down into the chemical that pod that you put in there. You will, um, when you're done, I, I made another video that's posted. When you're done and you get all the valves closed, you're gonna put one of these pods in the toilet and you're gonna put about two gallons of water in the toilet. You always want to restart an empty tank with a couple gallons of water and one of these pods. Um, this video is getting a little long now, so I need to stop. Um, you can just, if you don't have a bucket or a way to measure two gallons in the toilet, just hold the foot pedal down, pump water into it, and count for about uh, two minutes, and, and you'll fill up about two gallons of water. And that is your septic empty.